I want to implement a feature which is going to give us an opportunity to explore a couple of things. Uh, here's the feature that I have in mind. So here is where I'm printing the summary of the blog post. What if the summary is pretty big text? What I want to do is truncate the text to a particular limit and not have it fill up the whole space. Let me give you an example. So here is my hard-coded summary value. All right, let's say I replace this text with lorem ipsum text, which is pretty long. In fact, let me actually add another sentence here. So you have this huge amount of text. And now here you see this blog post style has grown to be significantly big because the summary text is pretty big. What I'm gonna do is have this blog post title component kind of truncate this. Now here you see I have uh, the blog post style HTML, which is basically printing out the whole summary. What I wanna do instead is print out like the first maybe 50 characters of the summary and then end it with a dot, dot, dot at the end. How do I implement this? Well, there are a couple of different ways to do this in Angular. The way that I'm gonna be doing here is using what's called a pipe. A pipe is a feature which lets you pass in values inside your, in, you know, your double curlies to a function. Let's say you implement a function called truncate, which takes in a string, it could be a huge string, and then it truncates it to those many characters that you're looking for, and then appends a dot, dot, dot to it. Now, what you can do is make that function into a pipe, an angular pipe, and then whatever value you put into your template inside the double curlies, you can pipe it through that function. You can pipe it through that pipe and then the response, the return of that function is what's gonna be rendered over here. So let's say you create a pipe called truncate, which is basically a function which processes your data, takes in an input and then returns an output. So you can pipe your value through that angular pipe. And then this is basically taking your post.summary value passing it to your truncate function and whatever is the return value from that function, that is what's gonna be printed inside this double curly, right? So this is one way you can do truncate. Well, the other simpler way is of course to do that inside the component itself, right? So once you have your ng on in it, you can take that post.summary and then truncate that post.summary value so that the, the blog post is going to be with rendered with that truncated value. But I wanna demonstrate the pipe because this is a handy thing to use when you're writing your markup in your Angular components. Having this be a pipe means it's usable in your markup and it's simple to read. You can take a look at this, your, this markup and know that summary is being truncated. Now, how do you create a pipe called truncate? Well, this is where Angular CLI comes to the rescue one more time. So I can say ng, generate, I create a pipe. This pipe I'm gonna call truncate. Now what Angular CLI is going to do is create this file called truncate.pipe.ts. If you look at where it's created it, here is the class truncate pipe that Angular CLI has created. And notice that it's annotated with the at pipe annotation. This annotation is what tells Angular that this is a pipe and it's given a name called Truncket. Now, just by the fact that this is available over here, and then if you look at the module, it is declared as a pipe in the declaration section, just like any other component, it's declared as a pipe. Now with this, you can use this Truncket pipe. And now what's gonna happen is whatever is on the left of this pipe symbol, is going to be passed to that function that was created in the truncate pipe file. If you open that up again, you see here there is a transform function that's created and this is the value that's gonna get passed in and that's gonna be replaced by whatever value you have set over here. Now let's say I put in a value which is a string called test. Now, if I pass any value through truncate, it's gonna call this function and it's gonna return a static test value all the time. So I'm going to do an ng serve. 
And now any place where you see summary, it's gonna be replaced with this static value test because it's gonna go through this transform function. I refresh, it is changed to the hardcoded test value. Now what I wanna do instead is change this to be that truncated value. So no matter what the size of the text is, this is the text that's gonna get passed in, no matter what the size of the text is, it is going to truncate it by a certain amount. I can also accept arguments, which is useful in this case because it can tell me how much I want truncated. It can be the size of the truncated text. So this is gonna make this truncate pipe even more flexible and it's usable in multiple other components. Say I wanna truncate this text by 30 characters. Well, the text is gonna be the first argument and then the value of how much you wanna truncate is gonna be the second argument. Now, how do you pass in that value in the markup? You do that and then here you can pass in the number. Let's say I wanna truncate by 30 characters. So now this 30 is gonna be passed in as argument. So you can have a bunch of arguments there and they're all gonna get passed in. And all that is gonna inform your implementation of your truncate logic. Now for the sake of this course, I'm going to refer to this Stack Overflow solution for truncating text in a pipe. So there is an example, I'm gonna link this in the video description, but basically this is the logic which um, which does this truncate, I'm just gonna copy it here. But here's the idea. There is this value called limit, which is how long the text needs to be truncated. And there is this value called trail, which is what needs to be put in place at the end to indicate that there is text and it is the, what you're seeing is a truncated value. So there is dot, dot, dot as the default. And then here the argument 20 is the default. So it's by default truncating to 20 characters. And then what you're doing here is returning the value depending on whether the value dot length is greater than the limit or not. If the value dot length is greater than the limit, then we are doing a substring based on the limit and then appending the trail. If the length of the value of the input string is within the limit, we're just gonna return the value. So this is a ternary operator that is being returned and this is in the place of this truncate pipe. So thanks to this uh, Stack Overflow article, we now have this truncate pipe in place for truncate and now what it's gonna do is show 30 characters and then the rest of the stuff is gonna be dot dot dot, it's gonna append the dot 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 at the end. So this is a very handy way to implement these kind of functions as pipes and then make that usable inside the template. You can, of course, create functions as member variables and uh, put it inside the component class. So it really depends on how much reusable uh, those functions are and how much reuse you wanna get out of them. For something like Truncate, I can imagine that being used in multiple places in the application. So it makes sense to put that as a pipe and have that be used inside the, inside the HTML. In the next video, I'm gonna show you another way of doing this, not inside the markup, but inside the component, but not as a function. I'm gonna still retain the pipe and I'm gonna show you how to call the pipe function inside the component class directly.